We've been boondocking here on Padre Island in South Texas for two weeks now, but today we moved to the lagoon side of the island for the first time. We're at the Bird Island Basin Campground, and here's what it looks like. And guess what they do here? Wind surfing. Can you see that out there? Let me. Let's go up for the full Boyd's Eye view. It's a little windy up here. The view is great, <laughs> but it's a little breezy. Sorry if there's wind noise. This is pretty cool. I like it here. I like it here too, mainly because uh, you know, the other side's cooler. Like it really is being right on the beach with the waves yeah, lapping. Yeah, the beach was awesome. But there's a huge downside to it. Straight up, the salt, mist, like everything we own that was exposed has, has got rust on it. The bikes, any exposed metal, everything gets corroded like super duper fast. So like that part is a horrible side of it. Enough that I really wanted to be on this side just to avoid that because we're not going to get that salt mist over here like we're getting on the other side of the island. And that's like a mile that way. It's not, It's yeah. really close. Yeah, but this is the lagoon side of the island so it's totally protected and not so crazy. Now we just have to find cell service. And the water is peaceful enough that they can do wind surfing here, I guess. Excuse me. <laughs> We've been here for like 10 minutes at the most. I went over and paid our little fees to get uh, our space. And what's cool is it's it's uh, 50 uh, 50 percent off if you have the parks pass. And so that's you know obviously huge since it's eight dollars a night normally here we're paying four dollars a night to stay here which that's a super affordable even though there's not a lot of amenities here it still gives us the ability to uh, park in a safe place for this coming storm uh, thursday it's supposed to start raining one to two inches of rain over the next couple days after that so but then we were here for just like 10 minutes and then the neighbors have already come over and invited us for thanksgiving and stuff like that like this is just what a great group of people that we're surrounded by and we're just so like uh, blessed to have that uh, right here. Everybody just smiling and just having a great time. So I'm totally stoked to be here and I don't have to deal with the salt spray destroying everything and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. We're having a whole new adventure today. These fearless voyagers are getting ready to go out on the kayak. We're gonna go over there. Unlike me, who will stay on shore with a camera. Well, it just makes it easier to get in so you're not slipping on these rocks. <laughs> okay. You mean you're afraid of going over by the people? Yeah. Oh, your daughter is broken, I can tell. She's a teenager. That's pretty normal. Oh, oh you guys are just going for it right now? We're going to put the boats Ow. in the water. I didn't realize this was the place. I oh, thought there was going to be like... Cold. Who is it? Yeah. I thought there was going to be like some kind of a, right, a ramp, like, like a that. cement ramp or something. This is going to be awesome. All 
A little chilly? Noticeable. Noticeable? <laughs> Yeah, I've never been that into water sports, you guys. Like, I'm not afraid of the water, but I'm not fearless of the water either. Okay. Don't lose this, or it makes it really hard to get in. That's rule one. If you're way out there, don't <laughs> lose your paddle. Okay. What if I lose my paddle? I'll probably have to come and get it for you. Does it sink it or float? Paddles this side, like this. Okay. Does it sink or float? Okay, you're good. Okay. Yeah, but when you're sitting in the boat and it's 10 feet away from you. <laughs> Bad times. <laughs> seems like it's, it seems a lot further away at that point. Okay, so go ahead and just like straddle it and sit in it. <laughs> what? Straddle it. Yeah, there you go. Then sit down. Oh. There you go. It's pretty that's stable. Clever. Okay. Oh. It feels tippy. It probably won't tip over unless you really put some effort into it. Okay. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and while they're out there kayaking around, I will be in here editing. You know, I thought I wasn't going to like staying in this campground as well as on the other side of the island where it's obviously more picturesque with the white capped waves crashing on the beach and you can go walking up and down the beach collecting seashores. And I thought, well, gosh, what are we gonna do here? I can't even go, you know, lay out in the sun on the sand because we're kind of just on dirt here with a rocky edge at the beach. But they're having fun with their water sports out there. So that's cool. And I have to say, it actually feels more peaceful here on this side of the island. I guess maybe without those waves constantly crashing with that noise in the background, it just feels more peaceful here. So I feel very serene at this campground. I like it more than I expected to. Oh, it took us like an hour. I know, that was pretty quick. I didn't die, Mom. How are your arms? So sore. Oh my gosh. We're going to be so buff after this. How long did it, did it take? Um, I didn't exactly look at the clock, to be honest. I think it was like an hour. It was a little after two when we started. Was it? Yeah. It was a lot harder coming back. Yeah. Into, Into the, the wind. wind. But getting there. Uh, getting there was super fast and easy. Yeah, kind of. I wouldn't say super easy. <laughs> it was quite difficult. It was fun nonetheless. Yeah. It was a good trip. A good adventure. Yeah. And the houses are cool. They're like on stilts and stuff. They look like little vacation homes. Oh, they're up on stilts? Yeah, and everybody catches their rainwater. Huh. They have these big, they have real big tanks. And uh, and then off the roof, they're catching the rainwater. And uh, what else? They all have docks. Every one of them has a little private dock. Huh. I don't know if I'm capable. Oh. I know you think it's going to be heavier You're such than a that. Big girl huh? now. Yeah. I'm getting your own boat out of the water. My shorts are so <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm growing so fast. That was hard. <laughs> my arms are like, I'm jacked now. <laughs> Bodybuilder. The discussion's happening about what's going on for Thanksgiving dinner. It's a potluck here at the at the beach and we have so, to make sure all the traditional thanksgiving foods have been covered so there was a big discussion going on very serious discussion Sweet about potatoes, the food mashed potatoes both all all of them so i think we're on the mashed potato crew we're gonna kill it and maybe some pie too maybe some pies all right all right you guys so the weather has taken a turn and uh, Jeff, one of our neighbors over here, brought up the fact that the weather was going to shift in about an hour. And this guy was so spot on. It was glassy. It was totally mellow an hour ago. Check this out. That was lightning. Winds are probably in the... 20 to 25 mile an hour range right now. It's spitting a little bit, not too bad. 
but Thanksgiving must go on. So I'm going over to check on the state of the turkey because that will uh, that will say when we uh, when we start the mashed potatoes because that's what we're bringing to the potluck. Mike's famous super mashed potatoes. So let's check on it. <laughs> Look at you! You're all dressed for the weather. Yes, sir. She got my raincoat, so I get the poncho. Oh, <laughs> That's for repairs if needed. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, last time this happened, this, like, you could not even I had my equipment out there. Oh, your uh, boards, boards and stuff? It's out there. It started, started, you know, moving down the lake. I mean, I had to go out there and it was in the morning. And it left? 65 mile an hour wind. No way. And out there holding it. Kind of That's not fun at all. <laughs> I had to put two um, two weights on to keep it from taking off. Then we wow. had to end up over here on the rocks. Wow, that's crazy. Guys, this is Brian with his big camera. Hey, guys. He's a Nikon guy. Don't see that very often. Hey, smarter people run Nikons. Sorry, I know. Ford, Chevy, whatever. <laughs> but he is the master of the turkey right here. Can we get a video of some turkey? We can get Let's a video do of it. turkey. It's going to be smoky and it's going to come up. <laughs> But there she goes. Oh, look at that. That is Happy Thanksgiving right in front of us. Beautiful, man. Look at the bark on that thing. Ah, oh, you can almost talk. Good It'll job, be good. Man. It'll be good. Good job. This is the whole crew out here all hanging out. Out of the wind and out of the weather. There's actually no wind right here, surprisingly. Just on, on the other side of this on the other side of this trailer right here. Man, it would be just crazy wind right now, but and there's a guy. He just went out on a sailboard. We're never gonna see him again. But I mean, isn't that amazing? Look, if you could see him, look at him go. He's taking off at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> ah, don't be so negative, Brian. <laughs> so it's impromptu mail time right now. We just got a package delivered that came from England to Arizona and then from Arizona to us in our bus via Dana's dad who delivered our mail for us on this fine Thanksgiving day. Thousands and thousands of miles! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I'm going in. It's a super rainy, bitter day here in Texas. Yeah. Thanksgiving day, actually. Bitter Thanksgiving weather. It's a perfect day, Kevin, to open your package here in, uh, where are we at? Padre Island, Texas. <laughs> How soon we forget. Shut up. Old age, it'll do that to you. Uh, stop talking about Kevin like that. He's a nice person. <laughs> God, he really wrapped this one like a beast mode. <laughs> there we go. There's nothing in it. Oh my God! Like it wasn't. It was a big. Oh, he sent a really nice present for Atreus. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet with the ABCs on it. This is so great. This is how all of my nieces and my kids learned the, their alphabet from a little Sesame Street toy we had that was like this. Always wear your seatbelt in the car. Press the ABCs. Oh, I thought it was just going to say A. I like to ride on the bus. I like to ride on the bus. Let's count all the cars we see. And they have this English accent too. How cool is they that? They do? I love it. That's so cool. That is it's so a cool. bus like the, um, the British buses. Right. I think this is a little jammed collections. I love that he does this. It's so neat to like sample things from other countries like this. I know. It's just like you just don't, you don't appreciate it until it comes from another country and you're like, wow, okay, this actually does taste different than the stuff we eat or, you know, whatever. Ta-da! Oh, well, hell yeah. We got some more of the, right. this is the, the more of that same jam, yeah. but a whole bunch of it. Nice. And of course. Oh, no, this is a different brand. Oh, is it? Yeah, we're mixing it up here. Kevin's keeping it fresh. And English kitty yeah, treats. Current. Maybe they're, oh, who knows, maybe they taste better than the stuff Mama we get here in the, in the USA. What do we got here? 
Seville orange marmalade. Not just any more orange marmalade. And more black currant. Excellent. This is, uh, what? Oh, check. <gasps> oh, sorry about the jam. <laughs> <laughs> Check, yeah, a little bit of a crash. Check this out. Check this out. For real. Check this out. Oh my god. Oh look! It is a little British bus. British bus <laughs> to complement our American bus. But it's also a pencil sharpener. No way! <laughs> I love it. That is so cool. Bonus, that is I love awesome. that he does it. He sends us like cool stuff, this man. This is the coolest thing. Oh my god. Oh gosh. wait. Oh, all right. Here's some more jam. Oh, some more jam. I don't know how it ended up over here. Some there batteries. One extra. That English batteries. Varta. Probably for this little bad boy. Oh, nice. That is so cool, Kevin. You're a good person, and we just it's so so special to get something from another country. I mean, it's special when we get it from anybody, but when it comes from another country, you just don't know what to expect. And it's always something like new and exciting to us. So thank you again. You obviously, you definitely have always been our biggest fan and uh, you continue with that tradition. So thank you, Kevin. Love you, man. Yes. You're so cool. So cool. Yes, thank you so much. That was half the potatoes on the floor. No, it was a quarter of potatoes. So There's still like 40 minutes of peeling. <laughs> they weren't very big potatoes. It's okay. There's still enough for it. Dude, More I don't know what happened. It slipped out of my hand. I mean, it's like doing so well. Yeah. Well, you had all that stuff on the floor that you were like standing it wasn't why. far away. So. It wasn't why. Well, then you just failed for no reason. It's because of you. I was trying to give you an out there and you didn't take it. Yeah, because I have to hang out with this old lady all the time. Who's the That's mixer? That's it. No mashed potatoes for him tonight. Where's the mixer? In the dish drainer. Something feels different this morning. Can't put my fingers on it. Anyway, yesterday's uh, Thanksgiving festivities were canceled because of weather. They finally just gave in to the weather. It was blowing, it was raining really hard, cold, and it just wasn't uh, a place to be festive out there outside. So we put it off till today. I'm going to check on the state of, of Thanksgiving Friday, which I think is going to be around noon today, hopefully. And so I just want to get a heads up because we got to do some cooking for this bad boy. Let's go see. Good morning. How did the camp survive yesterday? The tent guy did not fare so well. Tent didn't fare so well? No, uh, it went down, filled up with water. Oh no. We went to like heat that. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. That was a pretty rough little storm that blew through right there. Oh, it was We're sitting huddled in this tent going, they can't last, you know, it won't last long for four hours. <laughs> We're cranking up some. Uh, Taters. Cranking up the taters again. Nice. We did make them for last night. We had a little mini Thanksgiving. Luckily, she had bought this little tiny little spiral ham. It was a tiny little thing. Yeah, yeah. And so we made that for uh, Thanksgiving. It was delicious. So. Yeah, it was. We kind of Mother Nature had other ideas about our Thanksgiving, didn't she? She wasn't thankful. She was not happy with <laughs> us at all. We were being punished for something we did in previous lives. I'm That's pretty it. sure. Sorry we brought that storm over. I'm sure it was me. No, it's all your fault. <laughs> no, let's see. Who else can we blame? Let's blame Brenda. Yeah, we'll blame Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. So. Oh well, I've got beer. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, stuff is happening again. We're, the fire's been revived, the sun's out-ish, Ish. and uh, Thanksgiving will happen today. Excellent. We've decided on 1230 for Thanksgiving dinner. It's going to be great. Starving. I, did, I skipped breakfast for this. Wow, <laughs> way. Ho, 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 ho. Happy yes. Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> I, I Apparently they've been I doing this bring for years. Like, and we're good. This guy right here started it and oh. smokes a turkey this apparently year. every year. Right? <laughs> this is Brian. And this is our group of wayward travelers having a Thanksgiving together. <laughs> Those are rolls. Uh, roll. All right. Now with fat bellies and smiles on our faces, we are leaving 
our first Thanksgiving where we can go relax and maybe go for a walk. So here's my daughter's actual hobby. to go ride on the beach. I mean, what a girl's dream, right? For th that girl, anyway. <laughs> Just don't get your finger in this rocket. I have no lift on this side. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right. This is Clayton's Beast. You probably saw it when we were back in uh, St. David, but this is his uh, a port excursion with the 10 inch lift on it. It's a beast. But it rides impressively smooth, actually. You ready for the trip? Always. Super sweet, man. It's not going anywhere. Bye, Bye you guys. That was super fun. Thanks for coming with us. Thanks for letting us join, guys. Awesome. I know, it was awesome. <laughs> cold and rainy and cloudy for the past couple of days and then this morning it was completely foggy outside you couldn't see anything and now the sun has finally come out but it's still foggy out over the water so the water just kind of disappears into the fog line i guess it's not so bad now it's finally starting to burn off a little bit yeah I, when i went into town it was like I, I, I didn't lose the fog until I got on the other side of the bridge. But then coming back, it had severely burned off and now yeah. it's like a little warm for even this. It's about 60, 65, 66 degrees out here right now. I know, it's finally getting back to like beach weather. Are you still hesitant? Are you still checking for dogs? She's highly suspicious. There were dogs here last time. She's not having it. Oh, mama. Don't blame her. Oh, she finally ventured forth. So I'm having some serious troubles with the new camera. I'm pushing the button, but the button isn't getting pushed all the way. So I'm recording whole segments of talking to the camera that are not getting recorded. So <laughs> you guys missed the whole segment of us arriving at the beach and discussing Mike spearfishing. <laughs> Cliff right. notes, we're at the beach now and Mike's getting his wetsuit on. <laughs> Okay. It's actually a long walk down this jetty. Look no, how far is. we've come. We're not even to the end yet. Look how far we still have left to go. Does this look like a spot? Well, it looks like a spot enough that uh, there's not a hundred people trying to fish this place. I don't know if I've never been here before, so I can't say like, oh, this is well, it definitely looks like better entry on this side than on this side. I don't think they watch the AF. You're brave. You are a very brave soul. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> There's 
there's a turtle right behind Mike, right out there somewhere. Can you guys see it? Yeah, I saw one. You did? Yeah, it just went right by me right now. How deep is it? Right here? Yeah. Eight feet, maybe. Oh, okay. Not so bad. That's a cake if I fall. I'm yeah. Gonna see <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> he switched to a different spear because the visibility is so bad he couldn't see the tip of the spear gun. So he's trying the Hawaiian sling this time to see if he can see better with that one. Ten feet visibility would give me enough to, to hit something, but like this visibility is like three feet at the most, I guess. And so it just is like, um, uh, it's just absolutely uh, impossible to see yeah. anything. Like, no, clo no fish is going to get that close to you. Well, one did. I did actually see like, uh, like this is deceptive here. Wait, turn towards the camera. This water here is like deceptively, uh, uh, you can see into it. But once you get down there, like when I got out over the end of this rock right here and dove down, it's like eight feet there. And I would start to go down, and then I would be like, um, oh, God, the bottom of the ocean. Like, oh, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, because it was just all of a sudden, it was right up on you. I'm a little, di I'm disappointed I didn't get any fish. I'm excited that I got to go in the water and uh, swim around and, and test the gear. Uh, I still haven't pulled the trigger on this thing yet. Got a new band for it today. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to get something, but even with this thing here, like this will be great if I can see. Yeah. The problem is holding it out here, I couldn't see the tip of the spear. That's like, that's how far, I, I could only see about this far. Wow. And I had to bring this thing in like this. So now I was actually holding it like this with my thumb and the trigger so I could see the tip. So if something went by, I could fire this thing because I wasn't able to see it. So then I knew for sure that I definitely needed to go to the, uh, uh, the this here, which is the uh, pole spear, which is a lot more uh, close up. We just came outside just in time for a little sunset walk around, I was gonna say around the lake. <laughs> there it is. What? Look at that. Yeah, but it's not a lake, it's the ocean. <laughs> I'm just crazy.